Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Sweet Smith Candy Company candy bars. I have the cookies and cream, the birthday cake brittle. Both of mine are sea salt chocolate. I have peanut brittle and toffee caramel. These were mailed to us from Pam and Steve in Indiana, and they said, they were so sweet, their note, they said they're always looking out for new things for us to try, and uh, these are made in Canada, but they found them in Indiana in an independent grocery store in their area, so we really appreciate that because we've never seen these around here. Sweet Smith Candy Company Cookies and Cream Crunchy Candy Bar. I'm going to go ahead and open this and let you get us a piece. It is literally just, just a, hunk. a hunk of chocolate. There's no, like, scoring on there for you to, like, break it. So, we'll probably just have to figure it out. Um, should you get the scale? Oh, my God. Well, I don't know. Well, it's for the whole thing. So, well, it's okay. You don't have to. The whole thing is 270 calories. That's a pretty dense bar. Yeah. So, um says, eat candy, be happy. You want to know what makes us tick? Well, it's making you smile. That is not a chocolate bar. This is it's a... more like a brownie crisp. Cookies and cream crunchy candy bar. Made in Canada. Wow. Sweetsmithcandy.com. It's this crunch, crunchy candy bar. Did it Don't hurt, take a big bite. Did it hurt your teeth? It's hard to break off. It's like a chocolate brittle. Mm, crunchy though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like you've taken a brownie and the brownie has completely collapsed onto the pan and you're left with this little crisp layer on the bottom. That's what you kind of taste. It does taste I like, like cookies and cream. I do like that. It's different. It's very sweet. Totally different than anything I've mm -hmm. ever had. It's almost like a almost like a honeycomb kind of mm -hmm. kind of thing, except it's chocolate. Mm -hmm. Not quite as soft as a honeycomb either. Honeycomb's just a little softer to bite through. But you really do get cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I like the chocolate flavor. So what makes this so different is that texture. Yeah, yeah it's very, 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 very I wonder if they're all gonna be <laughs> like that. Um, maybe I not the other, maybe not the last. Those are brittles. One? That this oh, is a well, brittle. that one says brittles as well. Oh my gosh, this! Look at all that's going on in that. Gosh. I mean, that is just a color. that's a party, really. Well, I'm not gonna break this one. Birthday cake brittle, handmade candy with soul. Simple pleasures, it says. Okay, this one doesn't look as dark. It's a lighter color, brittle. Brittle. Mm. Um, it says gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free, vegan. This one does. I do not remember seeing. The, I did not. It, that was not written on this. So, if that's the case with this one, it's not on here. This one is two hundred ninety calories. Was this one hard to... It's not as hard. I mean, it's got a crunch, definitely, but it's not as hard. You pulled the chocolate away. From the mm. top. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like a brittle with a chocolate topping. Mm -hmm. The same one with the other one. The other one had a white chocolate topping. I think it's the exact same base as the It's not as dark, one. though. This one, see, it looks darker. No, yeah, well, I guess it's about the same. It yeah. tastes the same. It tastes, it does taste the same. It tastes the same as the first one, except this one has a chocolate fudgy layer, like yeah. kind of like a like a little Debbie brownie. Yeah, yeah I can like see the, that. like the top of a that brownie, that chocolate. That's what that's like. Mm -hmm. Those are good. That one's good. I think I like the cookies and cream better. I think it's the a little flavor, sweeter. Yeah, I think the flavor in the cookies and cream is a little stronger. Yeah. Uh, I like the birthday. I think the birthday would be perfect to give to somebody for their birthday with a card because mm -hmm. it's so happy. Do you want to do peanut brittle? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. No, they're all crunchy. Um, sea salt chocolate peanut brittle. Let's see if this one says... Okay, so it's like a peanut brittle on the bottom with the chocolate on top. 
Yeah, gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free, vegan. I wonder why this one doesn't say that. Got this... something in there that's not vegan. Maybe the cookies. Oh no, you know what? It, it said it. I apologize. I'm so sorry. It did say that on their label. I just didn't see it the first time. So they're all gluten-free. Yeah, gluten-free, egg-free. It's in a different spot. This one's on this tab, and I pulled it up so I didn't see it. The other ones are on the actual um, package. So this one is peanut brittle, and it is 230 calories. That one has the texture of peanut brittle and the flavor. I don't even really get the chocolate flavor that much. It's, it's mostly peanut brittle. Mm -hmm. You love a good peanut brittle. Oh one. my gosh. That's good. Mm -hmm. That hands down That's favorite. Good. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a good peanut flour. It's it's like your traditional peanut brittle mm -hmm. on the bottom, and then they just dipped it in chocolate or took the chocolate, poured it over, and let it dry. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. You could do that with white chocolate. Mm -hmm. You could do that with lots they probably of do all kinds of different things. Um, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. So super, super sweet. And it's not really, really hard either. No, they it's not. It up a little bit. I, no, I don't think it's hard either. That is That's absolutely good. terrific. Five out of five. That is excellent. Um, the last one. I like a good coffee too, though. So. I do too. One of my favorite things. Ooh, it's chocolate chocolate. Sea salt chocolate toffee caramel. Sea salt chocolate toffee caramel. Uh, 270 calories. It says keep in a cool, dry place, freezer friendly, up to 12 months in the sealed package. Okay, this one's a thinner. Oh, a wow. Thinner piece. This one was in there, so. It's different. It is truly toffee. Mm -hmm. mm, it's good. Amazing. That one will get stuck in your teeth, though. I love. Mm, a little salt the toffee. Get a little salt. I got a little salt from the toffee one. Mm, all these are good. This is excellent. I would love to try the exact same topping in white chocolate. Oh, uh, yeah. In a lighter chocolate. Yeah, they, they may this, make it. This chocolate, it's good. It is it is very good. And it's um it's kind of soft, so you get the crunchy toppy, but then you get the little soft layer of chocolate. I love it, but it's a little dark. I mean just a little bit dark. So, if you had a, a white chocolate, I'm thinking really that sweet, it would soon make it super, super sweet. Or even like, one with no chocolate. Or, oh, yeah. I mean, I, lo I still love this. I still, mm -hmm. I would still give this a five out of five because mm -hmm. these are the, my favorites. Yeah, right here. I agree. Those are my favorites too. Although, I really like the cookies and cream one too because mm -hmm. it's just so different. That chocolate brittle is, is, I don't think I've ever had chocolate brittle. No, no, it's never, good. ever, ever. I mean, so... Uh, like I said, it reminds you of a brownie that's gotten compressed and it's gotten crispy, really super crispy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's what kind of like a burnt brownie. <laughs> so when Pam and Steve said they're always looking for something different, I these mean, are different. they yeah, you hit it out of the park because these are so different. Um, it, they didn't say how much they cost, so I have no idea. But I can tell you right now, uh, this peanut brittle that would be my, if I couldn't have any of the rest of them if they're like really expensive. Peanut brittle. peanut brittle, yes, that would be the way to go. Um, and I'd then, probably get the toffee. Right behind that, I mean yeah. like right behind that, it's gonna be uh, the toffee because I just love that so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are absolutely terrific. Um, if you have seen them in your area, please let us know in the comments below um, because we have no idea um, where you can find these. Uh, so I would love to know if any of you have seen them. Have you tried them? Do they have other flavors? It, it would be very interesting. If you're in Canada, you know, you might be able to get a lot more of these. So uh, thank you so much for sending us these. And to everybody, thanks for watching.